For the price it is a very nice sword. The handle is made of plastic and has a few small fractures, but it still feels pretty solid. The blade is ridiculously sharp and the sword has a very good amount of weight. It takes little to no effort to slice through the air. No wind resistance. Near silent even at high speeds. I would recommend this sword it is very aesthetically pleasing and gives a lot of details to look at on the handle. Good detail and incredible value for $50 heavy and sharp I had already known that this sword wasn't movie accurate that Tsuba is drastically different and depicts a dragon that Tsuba is also thinner than expected the faux ruby Manuki is glued on. And is more in the center of the plastic. Painted Tsuka than the brass one that was closer to the Tsuka Gashira on the movie sword as many already know the Heyman is decorative only the Ha seems to be adequately sharp. The balance of the blade is about 5 inches from the end of the Habaki. The Habaki fits nice and snug into the Kayagachi that is adorned with a decorative gold colored metal. This same decorative style is continued at the Kojiri. The Sinai has a nice smooth black finish and the CGO and Kurikata look rather nicely done. The sword also has a bohai that stops short of the Kisaki. Overall I really like the look and feel of this sword. This is the second Makoto Katano I have purchased. I love everything about the sword but the handle. It's cheap plastic and the paint looks like it was rolled on 30 years ago. I was hoping that it would look good on my wall. No chance of that but it will do for cosplay. It is sharp so I might like cutting something with it. LOL.